So before I start the video, I just want to let everyone know that the Vancouver Orchid Society is having a show and sale on March 21st and March 22nd. There's going to be a lot of interesting plants to see and a lot of vendors that will have a lot of interesting plants to buy. So I highly encourage you guys to come down if you're in the area. Hi everyone, so this video is going to be my end of February updates. And I just want to start with my new acquisition. This is called the Costelli Alada. And the interesting thing about this plant is that it is the only species in the genus. I don't know too much about it, but the flowers are small but numerous. So yeah. This is going to be an interesting one. And this is my Fel Javanica, and I moved it to the main Vanda area because I just put a humidifier here. And it seems like it likes it. Um, I do have one bud there that's starting to crack open and two others that are forming. So uh, we'll see how the humidifier affects the flowers on these. I hope it will improve them. So this is my Vanda Cristata and it still has the nubbin it hasn't really done much, but it's not getting worse or it's not blasting, so that's the update on that. Alright, so these are my flask babies. There's not too much to update other than everything seems to be doing well. I don't think I had any casualties. With regards to the dendrobium seedlings, I think I mentioned it in the last video, but the ones in the back cup over there are doing very well. They're quite fat and chubby so that's great but even the ones here and the ones where it looks like the canes are dying even though the main cane doesn't look great there's little babies along the base so that's good so this shelf and this shelf i've had a few problems i did get some infestation of mites again i don't know where they came from but they showed up i think it's somewhat under control now I'll go over which plants were affected by it. Now this is my Thrixpermum leucoracne, and it has a new leaf growing. And this is my Bobophyllum princess bajaratana. I finally had a chance to divide it since it was already split. Uh, so this half will be um, given away at the, I guess, the next Orchid Society meeting. This is my SLC World Vacation Shibuya Sunset, and the new growth is doing pretty okay. This is my Trichocentrum albococcinium. One of the leaves completely turned yellow and fell off, but if you look there, you can see this little growth has done a bit better. So it's very slowly recovering. I'm still very cautious with it though. This is my Dendrobium ex usitae, and this is one of them that had pretty bad mites on all the leaves. So I did spray it down with my oil solution. So this growth is doing pretty okay. There's another growth growing there at the bottom. So I think I'll end up repotting this um, this weekend. This is my Galeandra barii, and this is also one of them that had pretty bad mite problem. Although the problem was only on this little guy here. Again, I don't know where they came from, but the leaves on these, this one was pretty bad and I just cut them off. And I sprayed the whole plant down with um, an oil solution. This is my Kaisis limbing hay. I think this also had a mite problem because um, I noticed the leaves don't look quite right. Um, although I don't think it's as bad as the one on my dendrobium. So I sprayed it down. I will probably need to spray it again because I just noticed something. So I did reach out to Tension Orchids because they're coming to our March show. I just wanted to see if they were able to get me a replacement because this was Alba and I didn't want the Alba one. And they're able to replace it if I return this plant. So that's totally fine with me. I'm happy to do that. So. This March, I will be getting one with the colored flowers, so that's exciting. Uh, this is my LC Supersonic Striking Lip, and I've repotted it in um, Lava Rock and Lekka. And the reason why I did that was because it had a ton of aerial roots, and they were kind of in the way, so I just shoved them in the pot, and I figured they would do better in not semi-hydro. I think they're dead, but at least the roots are out of the way. I didn't want to cut them off. I think potentially some of them are alive, but otherwise this plant is fine. The new growth is doing pretty okay. I kind of wanted to pot this lower in the pot so it's more flat as opposed to like kind of sticking out like that because that was kind of my pet peeve with the old pot. I didn't plant it properly, but all the roots were stuck to the 
hydrogen so I just took that and put in this pot with more media around it. This is my Trichoglottis bacilla and it's pushing out a new leaf. Now this is Chloe's Arabica Northern crossed with Chytocetum cliburianum and the new growth is doing very well. This is Gladiatorium crossed with Barbatum and I finally had a chance to clean it up so it's potted back in semi-hydro. No roots, I cut them all off and right now it's dormant. Uh, so this is my Galeotia fimbriata and it has a flower spike. So this is super exciting. I just repotted it recently. It is in semi-hydro still, so I haven't changed that, but it's finally pushing out a flower spike. So hopefully this does well. So this is my Dendrobium sherry abe, and this is one of the other plants that had a problem with an infestation. I don't know what it was. I'm not sure if it was mites or not, but anyway, it was along this cane. They were black and a little bit sticky. Uh, and it was also on the leaves here. But this cane was fine, and the rest of the plants on the top shelf weren't affected. Um, so what I did was I rubbed it down with um, rubbing alcohol, and I sprayed it with the oil solution. Now this is my Vanda Lamellata, and I think the spike dried up, because it never really grew, and it's kind of brown, so that's kind of unfortunate, but it um, is what it is. Oh, I also put it in a clay pot, um, instead of the wine bottle because it's more stable, so that's a change. This is my Momordes andreatea, and it's in spike, so this is super exciting. The buds look healthy. I don't think they're going to dry up anytime soon, so that's something I'm looking forward to. Uh, so this is my other half of the Princess Bajaratana, and I just switched pots with my Bubophyllum sulawaceae because that one was coming out of the pot, and I split this one, so... There's that. This is my Dendrobium virginium, and the new growth is still there, uh, not rotting or anything, so we'll see how that turns out next month. So my Dendrobium draconis is in buds. There's two buds there. Uh, the new growth seems to be doing pretty okay. And this is Angricum germanianum, and the flower died, so that's gone, but um, it has a new leaf growing at the top, and I really don't like how the leaf is growing. I don't know why that's happening either, so if you have any clue, please let me know. And this is my Bulbophyllum siluaceae. It's been repotted in a rectangular pot. This is my Bulbophyllum harbrotinum, and it has a new growth growing right there. This is my Stenhopia negrovilacea batman, and it has a new growth. This is Corianthes mesasii, and the new growth is still doing okay. This is my Phalaenopsis fimbriata, and this spike has... I think four buds on it. This one, there's at least one spike or one bud on this spike. I lost this leaf and that's it. And this is my Paphenia rugosa and it has a flower spike. It looks a little suspicious so I don't know if it's gonna bloom but um, I have one flower spike. And this is my Noidy fell and it's also pushing out a flower spike. It's pointing to the left because I also have a T5, so it's probably pointing towards the light, as I usually have this facing the window. So that's good. Alrighty, so that's my video for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.